Hey everyone, welcome back to Stormworks Build and Rescue. Uh, this time I thought we'd do something a little different. I thought we'd do a little build this time. Um, and we're gonna be doing a basic engine build. Uh, there are a bunch of tutorials out there on how to build engines, but a lot of them I feel are too advanced, especially for newcomers to the game. So this time we're gonna build a small engine, keeping it simple, making it easy so that you guys can just get started, get your boat, plane, helicopter, whatever it is out there and actually play the game and don't spend about four or five hours trying to figure this out. So let's go ahead and get into our workbench and get started. Okay, so we're over at the workbench. I've got a flat little area here that we can work with. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is actually build a little platform for our engine to sit on. Uh, we don't need all of that. So I'll just kind of go boop, get rid of that. All right, so we're gonna be using a small engine. Go ahead and plop that down. I think for the first thing that we're gonna do is actually use, we're gonna change over to blue here. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a radiator. Uh, let's work on our coolant first. And we're gonna plop that down. Now, you don't always have to use a radiator. If you're building a boat, you could just, um, you could just pipe straight down into the water, use a fluid port and suck water up and then just eject water back in. Uh, but for the sake of this video, I want to make sure you can use this thing on any builds. So we're going to go with a radiator. All right. And that is it. That is in and out our coolant. Make sure you don't block these guys off. This is good. But if you were to block this off, you'd have some airflow problems and then your engine would overheat and go kaboom. All right. So I think next we have fuel. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna angle out here to the side here. And I think I can go down. We attempt to go down. There we go. Oh, there's down. We're going to grab a tank here. I'm just going to grab a medium fluid tank. Drop that down. And that's good to go. Uh, what's next? Okay, let's come up here and do our exhaust. We'll do a uh, we'll do a gray for exhaust. All right, we don't need these many. We could just plop right here, but for the sake of understanding, you guys will have some pipes and stuff in your build, so it does help. Uh, now for exhaust, we could use a fluid port. Uh, that will work, um, but we're gonna use an exhaust because that's what it's there for. All right, so we've got our exhaust down. Nice, we're just moving along, making this easy. All right, so we're at air, we're gonna do yellow. We don't want an exhaust. We want to pull air in. We'll just do that. Well, oops. I just want to go straight for a little bit. Straight, straight, because this is generally how it is. You kind of want to go up for air, keep it up out of the water. And this one, we are going to use a fluid port. We're going to pull that air in just like that. And we don't need you here. Man, we're really cracking along here. Okay, so last but not least, we're going to be doing some power. Uh, power comes out of here. Let's rotate. We'll do that in orange for the sake of understanding it. We'll do that. Um, now, normally here is where you would have your your prop for your boat, your propellers, or your or your blades, your rotors for your helicopter. Uh, for this video, we're going to be doing a generator, just so we do have some some pull here on our. And there we go. And that is our engine. Now, this engine is completely useless to us right now. We have no way of cranking it or throttling the engine up. Um, one thing I will say uh, for Stormworks, RPS limiter, keep this at 20 RPS. Uh, the game tends to like this value quite a bit. You can keep this at 100%, but keep this at 20. This seems to be an all around kind of thing through Stormworks. Uh, you can't increase this, but you're running the risk of blowing your engine and catching on fire. 20 RPS is fine. All right, so moving on. Uh, we're gonna need a battery. Need, need some electrical power to get this thing started. Uh, so we're gonna drop that right in there. Uh, next, we're gonna need our throttle. Okay. We're gonna drop our throttle down right there and we're gonna need a push button, not a toggle. We'll use a push button for our starter because uh, we want that to go off when we're done, once the engine is actually started and running. Okay, so let's jump on over to our logic. First things first, we're gonna go to electric. Uh, we're gonna go from our battery to all our items here. All right, that's good to go. We're gonna go up here to the top to data. Uh, first things first, we're gonna take our throttle and come straight into our engine. 
boom we're done there and now we're gonna take our starter button straight into the starter here and that is it this thing should start up now we shouldn't have any problems with it let's go ahead and spawn it in okay let's give it a little bit of gas and the engine's on uh we should be turning uh, our generator producing electricity but we have no way of telling that so um let's take this one step forward let's go back to our workbench uh we're gonna drop some gauges here so we actually understand kind of what's going on with our engine it's not necessary to get going but if you are just trying to learn this game it does help to kind of understand what your engine is doing so let's build ourselves a little console here i think we have five things that we're going to be monitoring here so let's go ahead and get our dial we'll drop this down and we'll rotate one two three four five uh let's go ahead and get some power over to these guys hold control that allows you to do multiple clicks and we're going to come back uh to our data uh let's first things let's go to our select tool and let's rename some of these things uh so we're gonna go fuel i want a zero value because our fuel will never go to negative and i think these tanks are 185 liters i could be wrong don't quote me on that i do know that each block size is about 15 point something 0.6 liters or something like that um let's see let's go over here we're gonna do batteries we're actually battery we only have one battery battery's gonna be a zero to one we can use a a block a function block or something later to actually give us our 100 value here but there's no need for that right now uh, next we are gonna have rps rps is never gonna drop below zero and we're gonna use our 20 max because that's what we've set our engine to be uh next thing is gonna be temp uh, game defaults to Celsius, so we're going to go 0 to 100. Uh, 0 freezing, 100 boiling. Hope our engine does not boil. Uh, and last things we need are... We're going to go with watts from our generator. So we know that our generator is actually producing uh, 0. And I don't know what our max is going to be here, so we'll just go 100 for the sake of understanding. All right, let's uh, go back to our select tool and let's connect some of these stuffs up. So we've got our generator to watts. Uh, we're going to grab our fuel tank. That comes over to fuel. Uh, RPS comes to RPS. Let's see, this is our battery. We're going to come over to our battery. And last but not least, we have our engine temp. Okay, so that should be everything connected up. It looks like it. Let's go ahead and spawn this in. All right. Uh, fuel 178 it doesn't always fill up to the top so I do believe 185 might be correct uh, we could top this off with a refueling system and stuff but that's all that's all down the road okay batteries good RPS no temps uh, we're getting some temp here just because of the environment that we're actually in and okay let's give it some gas and start it okay as you can see our RPS has climbed to 20 and it's kind of sitting at 20 maybe going a little bit to 21 not a problem uh, we could, if we had a bigger load on this, throttle this down. Oh, there we go. We can maybe get a little bit more even here. There we go. So our engine's not going too crazy there. Uh, our temp is still climbing, but I think we're going to be doing good. Uh, hopefully that'll settle down here in a second. And we're getting two and a half watts out of our generator. All right. So let's take this back to the workshop. Uh, last things that we can do, um, your boat's not really going to do much moving here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull off our, our generator. We're going to back it up a little bit. We're going to go with a gearbox. Uh, we need to be do orange here. Now, the thing you want to do is you're going to want to get this going, to the arrows to the engine. Uh, and the reason this is, is when it's to the engine, whatever your engine... Let's just dumb it down here real quick. Whatever your engine is producing, it's going to multiply that factor out into your turns going out. So for example, 20 rotations, you have a gear exchange here. You can get 40 rotations out, for example, blah, 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 something like that. Uh, if it's the other way around, your engine's going to be doing a lot more revolutions for a lot less revolutions on the outside end, but you're going to give it more torque that way. 
So if you think about it like a bicycle, you're trying to bicycle up a hill, you can't get up a hill if you're just doing those slow rotations. You're gonna wanna gear it to where you're gonna pedal uh, like a hundred times, but that back wheel is only gonna rotate so much, but the torque value is a lot higher to get you up the hill. Now, once you get up over the hill, you change your gear ratios, you're gonna be wanting to pedal very slowly, but that back wheel is gonna wanna turn fast. And that's kind of where we're going with this. So we've got our gearbox in there. Um, next thing you want is a clutch and what this is going to do is it's going to keep whatever is on your back end here from actually starting off so if this was a boat propeller you crank that engine without a clutch it's going to take off so the clutch allows us to engage the engine on and off when we want to so we're going to go back and we're going to get our gin again and again the generator is going to represent your your rotors your prop your propeller for your boat all that fun stuff okay so we're going to come back and connect these up again let's get our generator output here so now we've got a gearbox and a clutch that we have to engage here okay so most likely you're gonna have a seat so for the sake of this let's go ahead and drop we'll use a seat here you guys can understand you know let's put it right in front of our dials here we can kind of understand what's going on all right so we've got our seat so this is generally how I set things up here with the clutch I generally will come to W and S because I think the habit that most people have with driving is to push W to go forward, and that's gonna actually engage our clutch. Um, from there, let's do our gearbox. Uh, we're just gonna take it to button one. And there's really no reason to do this except for when we come over here, and we're gonna change this value to a one to negative one. That All that's gonna do is reverse the direction of this and actually give us reverse. So I think with that, let's see, um, let's spawn this in again. We should be able to, we can actually probably sit here now. Yes, vroom vroom. Okay, we've got everything here. We're all hooked up. Let's give it some gas. I'm gonna start our engine. We're burning fuel, battery's good, RPS is up, temperature is rising, no watts. Uh, so what do we say? We had, W was our clutch. So let's go ahead and, Okay, so it wasn't working um, and that's my bad because uh, things need power. So we're gonna power these things up and we're gonna try this again. All right, so let's jump back in it. That tends to be a common mistake. You know, if your, your things aren't working, something's not plugged in. Something's not connected to a power or something's not connected to your, your logic. Okay, so let's try this again. We're gonna give it a little bit of gas, crank it up. RPS is rising. We can all right, and we're gonna engage our clutch and our clutch is engaged and our watts are increasing. So if this was our propeller, you would now be moving forward, moving up or whatever direction you've wanted to do. Okay, so let's increase our throttle. Let's see if we can get some more. Did I not plug it in? Hang on, something's... Okay, so I've... Trying to figure out why the watts wasn't going on, and I just figured out what was going on. Um, we need to make our chair uh, sticky instead of a reset. So let's uh, let's jump off here, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, if we come into the chair, I think first of all, our hotkey one. This was our. This would be technically our reverse uh, and toggle. Yes, we want that. And then the other thing we have. This is our clutch. So we're gonna put this on sticky. This will stay once we actually do it. We're gonna call this clutch. We're gonna try and call this clutch. There we go, clutch. All right, so now we'll spawn this in and you'll see what's happened here too. So when we get back in our seat, we now have over in this uh, left-hand corner, you can see W and S is clutch and one is reverse. So that'll help us out. All right, our clutch is engaged. Our watts are going up. Perfect. Uh, different size generator would give us different watts, uh, but it looks like everything is working now. So I think uh, I think we'll end it there. Uh, just keeping it keeping it stupid simple with this one. Um, maybe we'll continue this series and we'll go in and making some logic blocks where we can make a key starter here 
and maybe do something with a throttle where it's connected into the seat and stuff like that but i just i just want to get this engine done so you guys can actually see how to get it going uh all you newcomers i don't want you guys struggling like i did for several hours trying to figure out how to get an engine going in this game uh so hopefully this helps you out if you have any questions please comment down below uh if this helped you out please throw a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already uh we'll be making some more videos like this soon and i hope i helped you guys out so yeah we'll see you soon Thank you